We have to go through these two. You're kidding. Uh, Drew, we already have to go through that huge pile, that closet, and now yeah, this? We got this too. Yeah. It's only a box and a box full of stuff. That does not make me feel any better. No, you're coming to help me. Get your booty over here. Yeah. I'm not doing this on my own, Drew Scott. <laughs> It is midnight and I am just now getting time to take this bed apart. Y'all saw us go to the furniture store a couple months back while well, they're just now arriving. Guys, two to three months to get new furniture, but it's here. We're excited. You can see some of the clothes that the girls wear and throw off and piled up. And so the great thing about these new beds is they're going to have a compartment underneath that we're actually going to be able to store some of their clothes under the bed the girls wear about the same thing tiger and badger and it is like cats and dogs fighting over who's gonna wear what and why and how i'm gonna take this bed apart as quick as i can so i can go to sleep so i can wake up and get the new beds in all right so not too bad, that is disassembled, and uh, I'm gonna take it out to the garage, pile it with all our other stuff, and we'll be good to go for tomorrow. You wanna watch the news this morning, Panda? No, I'm looking for something else. I thought you were gonna say yes. <laughs> it's a uh, late night. We are just waiting on the furniture now. All right, y'all go get ready for the day. No, we're not watching Minecraft TV, <laughs> punk. You haven't even started school. Yes, but... What, oh, what in the world was that? So the girls' beds are finally coming in. I feel like we've waited so long. I don't know if you guys have watched previous videos, but we went to Rooms to Go and got some furniture for all the kiddos. Panda and Badger's, um, like, bed security came in, but Tiger and Cal's bed is like finally here. And so we're going to try to organize their room. We're gonna be going through their clothes, doing all that stuff. It's gonna be a whole project, but it's something that we've been needing to do since we moved in. And I finally feel like we'll have the right tools. I showed you guys like taking a part of the bed. I'm gonna let Gina show you, go show you guys the clothes. You wanna show them the clothes? No. Because it's bad. I piled them all up for you. No, you didn't. Yes, Why would I you did. do that? Because you don't like you me. Need, I need a room for the bed. We're going to just, yeah. <laughs> New beds coming in. Thanks, Drew, for making things more stressful. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to see the girls' beds for the first time. I'll see if I actually want to keep it this way. We'll just see. We'll see. Here's a huge pile of clothes. We're hoping the trundles organizing and going through the kids clothes because we haven't done it in about a while see what clothes that are too big organizing the closet i feel like the kids bed should be on this wall right here what do you think so uh i convinced drew that we are moving it i just think it's what's for the best um i think i don't like the how i do like the beds i just don't like how high the headboard covers most of the window and for a person who deals with seasonal depression, I know opening up a window can make a huge difference and I don't like that it's covering. But I also realized that if we do turn it this way, we could actually put a dresser. Uh, I don't know if we will put a dresser, but we could put something there that could actually help. Drew's already getting frustrated. He's gonna hate me at the end of this. So Drew took the kiddos to the park. And I am going to tackle this huge mess of a closet and clothes. Uh, I, we did move move it and I actually like it better this way. I didn't think I would like it, but I very much so. I feel like it flows better. And so I don't know if we'll end up putting a dresser here, mostly because it is so, I don't wanna add a dresser that will like come out this much and then there will only be this much. But right now, I don't need to even think about that. I honestly need to think about all these clothes that I need to sort and go through. A lot of these are clothes that the girls have already, I know some of them they have grown out of or we won't, they don't wear as much. So I'm already deciding like, let's not hold on to it. Let's just go through it and sort it and um, donate, sell, um, do whatever we need to do. And that way we can organize and have maybe more space as well in their closet.
I've been sitting here for a while now. I didn't realize, like for Cal, I have five T like clothes. We, it, she's grown basically two sizes this year, which I already knew, but we've been holding on to clothes uh, for the last year that she doesn't even fit into. Like, pretty much what I'm realizing now is that we should have gone through their clothes and like make sure we took out their sizes that they don't need. All this is like things she doesn't fit anymore. All these, like they do fit. I'm just gonna see if they still want them. A lot of these are like Disney clothes that we wore. These are all fitting. These all fit right here. I am letting you guys see something like, this is, uh, I wanna say vulnerable, but I know I'm not the only one. Um, because like, when you're moving and you're trying to get furniture and stuff like this happens and because of everything that's happening, a lot of furniture stores, we have to wait months and months. Like I know we're not the only one, but my goodness, this is like annoying. Hi guys. Hey guys, what y'all doing? Painting, painting. Painting? Ooh, nice. A cuticorn, a cat, a bit. A what, a corn? A cuticorn. What's they call a cuticorn? It Cool. And this cute. is a kitten and a baby koala. It looks like a big egg because baby koalas are super small. Oh, okay. We had a good day at church today. We uh, got back. Uh, Penguin and Gina are napping. When she wakes up, I think we're going to finish tackling the girls' room in the closet. I think we already have like five or six bags of clothes. And we'll show you guys... Like, just the, I think we already showed you the pile of clothes, but we'll actually show you the bags of like what we're donating uh, and those kind of things. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> you ready to tackle the girl's room? Huh? You ready to tackle the girl's room? Yeah. I'm not excited too. I think it's going to be a huge mess. I know. You've been putting it off. We started a couple days ago and you keep putting it off. <laughs> not on purpose since life happens. You're basically in size seven now. Cool, huh? Because You're a big I'm, girl now. Because I'm still. You're still five and wearing size seven clothes. You're big now. We have to go through these two. You're kidding. Uh, Drew, we already have to go through that huge pile, that closet, and now yeah, this? We got this too. Yeah. It's only a box and a box full of stuff. That does not make me feel any better. <laughs> No, you're coming to help me. Get your booty over here. I'm not doing this on my own, Drew Scott. How do you feel, baby? I'm running out of trash bags. <laughs> Having a lot of kids, like, dude. But, too much. Too much. But what? I, I use the same pair of jeans, like three pair of jeans and three t-shirts for like three years. Yeah, that's nice. We're supposed to do better by our children. What are you trying to say? I'm saying... I'll get them four pair of jeans. Shut up. <laughs> like I told you guys last time, the biggest mistake was I had like last year, I did not like do a declutter like I usually do. And then the beginning of this year, what I would have normally done because I already had the penguin, I did it because we moved. When we moved, we like stuffed everything just to get moved quick. Yeah. No. And so this is something I should have been done since like last year and we're doing it now. So this is my box. I'm going through my side stuff. Drew over here, he's getting through all the stuff that we know we're going to resell. Um, and then that big heaping corner on the very far left is the clothes that the girls still fit in. But the, this is like two to three girls worth of well, all our girls. We are almost there. We are just finishing up the last touches. We're hanging up the clothes that um, we're going to keep. We actually found a box of toys from the move that we're going through. Guys, look at all this little stuff. Like, I don't understand how we get all this little tiny stuff. Rocks, Legos, little teacups. It's a ring, a panda ring. Yeah, just pick out the toys you're going to keep and the rest we're going, if they're really tiny like that, we're gonna throw away. Are you keeping those books? Oh, okay. I never got to show you guys what um I got for my birthday, actually. Remember that? So it's this thing, base. It's this Lego thing, but... So this guy, look, this little guy in the spawner spins. Like a regular spawner guy would do when 
player gets too close to the chest. And this spawner spawns in the sky. It's a little flapping wall. This is from Grandma Diane too. But it's this little Ender Dragon guy. I I assembled him with this potion, but basically he has hearts in his body uh -huh. that stick him together. We do have Tiger's birthday coming up and we're actually going to take a birthday trip with her as well. You guys know that we decided not to really buy presents for birthdays this year, but more to do experiences. And so we actually have a fun trip coming up with Tiger that we're excited to show you guys. All right, enough of a delay. About how I really like the way we set up the kids, the girls' mm -hmm. room this time, because we had it a different way before, which you guys saw how it was, and we were wasting so much space. And it wasn't until we got new furniture made me want to move things around. Mm -hmm. And I know you were frustrated with it because you thought it was a crazy, stinky idea. No, I just wish I would have known when they were putting it together. I wouldn't right? have known until I saw it, though. Mm -hmm. All right, let's show, them what, let's show them what we got. Okay. So at the very end, we have one box of trash. We ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six bags of clothes to sell, give well, away, donate. Most, most of it, I will say, is most is donate. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to find a place that, like, do not resell it. Technically, we have not technically mm -hmm. decorated the rooms. We've just organized oh, it. Let's show them the room. We're debating right now if we want to dress her over here or not. That's the uh, kind of nightstand that they're using right now. You can see both the beds. It's a lot more open, I think, and clean. Mm -hmm. And then these beds actually have trundles underneath. And so... I'm thinking about getting organizers for underneath the trundles. Mm -hmm. And then that way it will stay a little bit more neater so they're not just yeah. throwing things. Well, the clothes won't fall over when they yank on it yeah. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So here's our closet. It's it's a lot more neater than it was before, which I'm really happy about. We haven't technically decorated the room yet. Um, this was just getting it organized. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Just getting them like what, three days. Three days, but three days. it was worth it. It sure. was worth it. I mean, I want our kids to have like an organized room, and the only reason it was this bad was just because between moves, like I said, I don't know, like just moving stinks, mm -hmm. and you just don't realize how much stuff you have. Okay, we are gonna call the girls in and see what they think about the room. Uh, are, we, are we gonna keep it this clean? Yes. Yeah, are you sure? I hope I do. You hope you do? Mm -hmm. well, you definitely can. Do you both like your new beds? Yeah, they're amazing and awesome. Awesome. All right, you guys. Uh, we'll see you next time for the pantry. And then after that, we're, we're taking a break. We're going on vacation for Tigers. Eight? Birthday? Nine. Ninth birthday. Nine we got a nine-year-old. We're actually going to be visiting her family. Mm -hmm. We're going to be spending yep. the whole weekend with them, and I'm so excited. I think it's really important mm -hmm. for adoptees to be able to spend time with their family, and we usually, mm -hmm. at minimum, a year. Sometimes we do more. Yeah. Um, we try to make sure that she gets to see them physically, not just like over the phone or pictures like that. We want. We want them to see each other. I will see you guys then. Bye.